know nothing about the middle of the country. So how's the day been in general? Has there been anything exceptionally well that you didn't expect to go well, exceptionally bad, that you didn't expect to go bad? Um, we sort of got used to the rhythm of the good. You know, that sometimes it goes a little astray, sometimes it works really well, sometimes there are very funny moments, sometimes it's not a typical TV show, you know, and when we say we have to fill, like in the middle of the night we had to fill, meaning we had to figure out content for two hours, that's the normal length of a normal television special. So that's where it gets a little dicey. But we've had some great moments. Hattiesburg was a little tough because the audio for Wayne didn't work that well, you guys were there. Um, and then after that, we went down to Biloxi, which was a lot of fun, at, you know, being outside. We knew Wayne would like that. Um, and Wayne just got tired. You know, at a certain point, he got tired. Yeah. Even Chris Pontius, who never gets tired, he got tired. Because we didn't, the thing we didn't factor as much, I think, because we were down here even earlier. Really the heat, the heat is tough. The heat and the air conditioning and going outside and in these venues, it's yeah. wearing if you're not, you know. And um, the bus is small, it's not Wayne's normal bus. But he was pretty great with you guys. Yeah. I mean, he did his thing. So, um, and then trying to find, you know, we have some funny internet, you know. Twitter stuff going on. How's the tech? So how's the technology? Those massive oh antenna God. stuff. It's crazy. Has, have yeah, they been good? Oh, you gotta welcome Jeff. You welcome into our technology. Like we're all the satellites. He's good with the satellites. Has the live stream from the bus been working as well as you expected? Yeah, actually, pretty well. We have, we have a couple moments of like bad technology where we have to move. You know, where we don't have audio, we don't have video, things like that. But only in very certain areas. And, but the thing that they were ordering the most is when we moved with the camera. And actually, most of the time, it's been great. So we've been very lucky that way. We weren't sure we could actually do like a handheld kind of thing, and we can. And um, so you see the bus stream. That's when it gets a little funky. Right. So we start to see this. Um, and then also figuring out how important a mainstream is versus like we're learning too. So we start to think like TV producers, but if you're opening the Apple, like you have three streams, so we need to show everything in the mainstream. Right. We don't really. So we. Make judgment calls are, there, are there more funnels here than there is in a normal TV um, kind of no. state? No. Well, is there are more funnels. I think there's about this. So the the more, the more choices. Yeah, more choices. No, I think it's. it's, it's I think it's your good old average ten pole type of event. Well, we have a lot of stuff that are just. I think it's, a, it's on the level of the good old fashioned award show with ten pole. But so the what, fun thing yeah. this morning we did is we have a morning show on VH1 called Big Morning Buzz with Live, and we had one of our correspondents go to Biloxi, and then we had the morning show live clicked into our host for Biloxi, who's usually a host on the morning show. Cool. And he chatted with his morning show team, and we took the whole thing and put it in our player. Cool. Like, that was totally crazy. What are some other linear Steve moments? He's the president of each one. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. Jacob Ford. Good. What's your, what's your experience been like the past 24 hours? Yeah. Uh, it's actually been great. I mean, it's been, you know, in a typical production, it's usually not that sloppy. It's the fact that it's sloppy feels good. And also, the on demand angle of this has been great, too. So, if you know, there's nothing going on in the bus, you can watch us in the control room, you can watch the United City. So, the fact that there's uh, this on demand experience, and all these feeds coming in, it's been, it's been great. Cool. But the sloppiness is bad. And everybody loves Ivan. Ivan's like a superstar, our director, because they can only hear him. They right. can see us, but they can only hear him. So he's got like mad followers. Yeah. Like some writer in Portland loves him. Yeah. And we actually called him out and he then Twittered back. You know. So, so Ivan's been able to tweet while still directing? No, we, uh, we tweeted yeah. first. We had to. Right. Right. So what so what's next? Like after seeing all this, what kind of ideas have been floating in the room on what you want to do next year, maybe the year after even? I gotta tell you, it's it's not even about this as much as other things we can now do with other events and everything. A bunch of ideas already I have about what else can we do with this. And, uh, you know, the nice thing is, is that uh, we now have done this. It's been a long road to get here. Uh, so we learned a lot from it in the past 18 hours. You know, it's really like pushed, you know, we ask questions. Like, I'm like, okay, can we get the audio? Can we do a double box? And then can we get the audio to go over those boxes? And can somebody talk? And you're thinking of these ideas. And some of them we were prepared for in our tech room were amazing, really put it together, 
Yeah, um, yeah, but uh, some of the ideas we just didn't do. You know, there are a couple of things we would have loved to have more background music. We I mean, really wanted background music, and when we got it, it was so magical, but it wasn't that easy to have happen. You know, sometimes because we didn't, and then segue music and this, you know, it was a whole other layer that, um, you know, we had a lot of live performance. Yeah, and also, you know, you're calling this thing all on the fly. You know, we do a lot of live production, but this is, there's so many moving parts here that, uh, and now it's getting tight with the bus. I don't know, we're not sure if it's going to be tight. So now it's like a matter of that we've got to tighten up the performance. A banter role involved because you could actually play one song. And Wayne, you know, he gets off stage, he's like, oh, hi. What's going on? Oh, yeah, you're my favorite fan, and he wants to go see his furries and talk to them, and you're like, no, go to the bus, so hopefully. And you guys know we're doing a big parade down Decatur, so uh, we're starting to get that together, so hopefully they make it. Um, so. I mean, in the pure sense, it's a reality show in the pure sense, but it's, it's happening as it's happening, and uh, a lot of it's out of our control, too, which is kind of interesting. Have your sponsors been happy so far with all the creative integrations? all the uh, things they've asked for and also I think being tethered to something so new different and unique is something that a lot of the sponsors like Samsung are really excited about them being part of something that's been done before so uh, I think they like that that attacks so for those that don't what's funny is you know one time we missed a, a Samsung we read the way they wanted it working wrong and they could call us right up we have so much time can you redo it can you redo another one of those we need it right so we go okay let's do another Samsung and then we go to the next so that's sort of fun you know to have that time I mean you know it's, it's very so different there were, there the time. And as you can see, Ivan has uh, wait for, for, as you guys see, is this wonderful wonderful for it to happen. Because, you know, you go into this and we started going to it like, you got to cut, you got to cut. And we're like, no, wait for it to happen. So, so what, what, let it ride. what's Ivan's background? What else has he done? Ivan's been working from Nike commercials. He's the director of George Lopez on the talk show. He's done other events and music videos and commercials. So, generally. Director, but really hired him because he's very creative and it's very hard to find a perfect fit for a show like this. It's kind of beyond and when I sort of when we sort of thought of him, I was like, he's the guy because he could think and you know thinking about it gave us a headache, which I told you or I told you, like thinking about it, you just literally got a headache. What happens if he needs to go to the bathroom or eat something? Yeah. We can leave, actually. We kind of sub in for a... I usually take over and change everything, and then he comes back and gets really mad. <laughs> <laughs> anything to disrupt the film? Yeah, anything to disrupt the film. So but how many breaks has he taken? Yeah. Um, only really one big one, where he actually changed his shirt and washed his face. <laughs> Otherwise, just, you know, I'm not going to go into which kind of break he took. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's, let's head on out. Okay.